Okay, it's getting dark out. Hi, Ruby. And it's time to put the ducks in. And I know a lot of you like to come along when we put the ducks in. So let's go. Oh, I think they already had it in. Two seconds ago, I saw them out here and they were quacking outside the barn. I think they may have already let themselves in. Maybe because they were sick of waiting for me. Now that it is September, almost October, it's getting dark sooner. And our ducks go by um, the light outside. So they don't know that it's only about seven something. They just know that the, the barn lights have come on and it's getting dark. Yep, they're inside, I can see one. They let themselves in. And I think the boy, Jake, is standing guard at the door so no predators are allowed in here. Hey guys. I'm sorry I'm late. It won't happen again, I promise. All right, you see this little container here? I'm gonna pour that um, with fresh water, but they also have water inside. Okay, so what I do now is we have a little bucket over here and I fill up the bucket and I pour it into that bowl that's inside there. Okay, the chickens are still out. So they're not quite ready to go in yet. So I'll go get the, the water. These are our chickens. I'll go get the water and fill up the duck's water bowl. Some leaves in here. And then by the time I'm done with that, I think the chickens will be ready to come in. Okay, we got a full bucket. Now we'll walk it into the barn. Whenever I'm out here at night, the woods are so scary out there. Well, Matt just came up just as I was walking back there and he offered to carry the water for me. So of course I'm gonna let him because that's pretty heavy. And it's much easier to film when you have two hands. So now Matt's gonna walk around and put the chickens in. Hopefully they're ready to go in. And I wanna show you the spooky woods again. Oh, it's so spooky back here. Look at how scary it is. If you really like, the camera doesn't pick up like how dark it is back there, but it is spooky. Okay. Once we get the chickens in, we're done for the night. That's Dolores. She's always the last one to go in for come some on, reason. Come on, let's go. Dolores, come on. She's going to make us chase her tonight. Good girl.
Good girl. I'll check the eggs too. Somebody's in there. Three eggs. Okay, so now we're headed to the farm stand. I'm going to show you where those eggs go that we just took out of the egg box. We eat some of them, but we can't eat them all. So we decided to build a farm stand and we sell the eggs and we sell some of my soy candles since I make soy candles. And we're going to go show you the farm stand. We get about six eggs per day. What'd you say? We get about six eggs per day, sometimes more. And we don't even collect the duck eggs anymore. Do we even get any duck eggs? Not in, they lay them somewhere else. They don't, they're not in the barn. So. Can't track them down. Nope. So this is a area that Matt had to just cut down a bunch of dead trees the other day. And it's kind of sad to look at it. Um, not only did he cut down trees, but he had to cut down a lot of grass. We had an invasive grass called, what is it called? Fragmites. Fragmites, I think. Yeah. Um, and we had to get rid of it because it will take over this whole area and it was killing everything else. The trees we cut down were pines that had been diseased. They were dead. Yeah, they were all dead. And they had been dead for a couple years, maybe three years. And this one. here's one. This is an example of what we cut down. And they were starting to fall like when we'd get winds and stuff. Um, like our last storm, we got a bunch of them fell and almost damaged our neighbor's house. So it was time to take them down. It's a sad thing to do because we know even the dead trees the animals use, but it's for safety. I had to take them down. Well, and so new growth can come behind it. Yep, as you said, new growth can come behind it. We're gonna plant some more stuff. All right, this is our little farm stand. Oh, candles, I think. Did we sell a candle? I don't know, I, don't, I thought there were more than that. Oh, I don't think so. This is our farm stand. Yeah, egg. Oh, wow. Lots of eggs gone. Oops, somebody came by and bought some eggs. Matt built this little farm stand. And he just used... What did you use? Just two by four. And um, actually, I used for the sides um, fencing. Like uh, dog ear fencing. He used or, dog ear fencing, he called it. Whatever, yeah. Just pieces of... That would be like... I don't know what you call it. Dog ear fencing? I have no idea what it's called. Um, and it was cheap. It was like how much per board. All right, and these are the candles. I make soy candles. Here's an example. They're non-toxic. I don't sell them online. Just sell them here and in a store in our town. And we have a little lockbox where the money goes. Oh, and we also have stickers. In case anybody wants stickers. So Matt's going to take the cash out so it's not in there overnight. You want to check the comments? Nope, you can. We sold a dozen eggs. We sell them. They're organic and we sell them for $6 a dozen. And we have a little comment book and Matt's checking it to see if anybody left a comment or questions. So. Our work is done for the night and now we're gonna head in. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this short video of our Sunday night.